What's up everybody, it's Nick from Houdat Travel. After spending 10 days with our new Magic Band Plus, we are here to answer a lot of questions about the Magic Band Plus at Walt Disney World. This FAQ answers those common questions about pricing, features and functionality, battery life, recharging, and how the Plus works as compared to the standard bands and a lot more. One thing that might make all of those easier to think about the Magic Band Plus is two distinct devices. One of those is the Magic Band, which functions in exactly the same way as the Legacy Magic Band does. It has all of the same features, functionality, strengths, and weaknesses. Think of this as Magic Band aspect of the device, which works without battery power and does basic things like entering the park or lightning lanes. Then there's the other half, or the plus part. This is the brand new component, including all of the interactivity, lighting, vibrations, and experimental elements. This is sorta the smart part that's powered by a battery and requires recharging. In essence, this encompasses everything that is not present in a normal Magic Band, and this is where the device differs from the Legacy Magic Band. Together, the two halves form the Magic Band Plus. Hopefully that breakdown answers some of the questions and eliminates some confusion. In case not, here are some of the common answers to questions that we've been hearing. Also, wait till the end of the video and I will give you my honest opinion after 10 days with this Magic Band Plus. To level set, let's look at what the Magic Band Plus does. What are the base features of Magic Band Plus? Now, Magic Band Plus can do everything a Magic Band can do and more at Walt Disney World. These include, but are not limited to, entering the theme parks, tap into lightning lanes, connect PhotoPass images, unlock your Walt Disney World Resort hotel room door, purchasing items at Walt Disney World with a linked resort reservation and credit card. Now, don't worry, all of these features don't need the extra battery to be charged, so if your Magic Band Plus dies, don't worry about it. You'll still be able to get into the park. You'll still be able to get into your hotel room. That will all still work. So what are the unique features of Magic Band Plus? In addition to the basic features, Magic Band Plus also offers haptic vibrations and light pulses that bring experiences to life. These are notably done in the fireworks and also as you pass by some of those new statues, the Fab 50. Customizable light patterns after double tapping the center of the band. Gesture recognition for interactivity at certain locations. That's the Fab 50. A rechargeable battery. Exclusive experience and mini games such as Star Wars Batu Bounty Hunters and Disney Fab 50 Scavenger Hunt. So do the regular Magic Bands still work? Yes, and they are still being sold. Magic Bands continue to work throughout the parks and Disney will be releasing new designs and styles of the Legacy Magic Bands. If you're not interested in the interactivity or light up wearables, that's fine. The regular old Magic Bands aren't going away anytime soon. I've been using the same Mr. Toad Magic Band for like four years. Aside from the long range RFID starting to die, it's still going strong. And you know what? I'll still probably use it here and there. Now, how much do the Magic Band Plus cost? All Disney guests can buy a Magic Band Plus at select stores across Walt Disney Worlds and online at Shop Disney, starting at $34.99 for the basic colors. Any sort of actual design though, well, that of course is gonna cost you a little bit more and those ring in at $44.99. And that is consistent with current pricing for plain versus premium Magic Bang designs as well. From there, costs could increase even farther for limited edition or designer fashions that we all know Disney likes to come out with. Where can a Magic Band Plus be purchased at Walt Disney World? Well, you'll be able to purchase a Magic Band Plus at the following locations. Inside Magic Kingdom, the Emporium, Epcot, inside Pin Traders, which is the camera center. Disney Hollywood Studios, The Celebrity 5 and 10, and Tatooine Traders. All right, is it Celebrity 5 and Dime, or is it 5 and 10? Tell me in the comments what you say below. Disney's Animal Kingdom has the Discovery Trading Company, Disney Springs inside Disney's Pin Traders, and pretty much every Disney-owned resort gift shop. Can I purchase multiple Magic Band devices? Do you really think Disney is going to turn down more merchandise sales? Well, 
There is a limit of two per person currently, but officially, you can also have multiple magic bands or cards linked to your Disney account. However, getting multiple magic bands or cards does not give you multiple entitlements. In other words, just because you give your band to somebody else doesn't mean they can get into the park as well as you. That, that, that doesn't happen. Unofficially, you cannot have an unlimited number of linked magic bands and also is working my Disney experience account. I've heard of people having over 100 bands, room keys, and tickets attached to the account, and it really did slow their stuff down. So how do I set up the Magic Band Plus to my account? Well, start by launching the My Disney Experience app. You must also turn on your Bluetooth on your phone, and in the app, you're gonna to touch those three little stack lines at the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and then select Link to Account. Next, you're gonna power on that Magic Band Plus by put, pushing that small button on the back just once and tapping that band to your phone. From there, you are going to follow the instructions in the app to link the Magic Band Plus to your Disney account. You're also going to assign it to a guest and pair it to your mobile device. Then, use the app to make sure your band is charged and the software is up to date. Currently, there is an update and I have been told by the folks at the Euporium, the cast members were wonderful for us by the way, that you want to absolutely make sure you do that update. That update takes about five to 10 minutes because a lot of people were having problems actually waving at the characters. So I do have an Android phone and I did have a lot of problems with the connections. I was unable to use the tap on my band and had to go to the type ID and manually type in the number on the back of the band to even get it to start. I also found that after I paired the Magic Band Plus and did the update, I couldn't get it to connect with Bluetooth again. So I had to hold the button on the back of the Magic Band Plus until it buzzed twice and turned blue to activate the Bluetooth. Honestly, we had a ton of problems connecting our Magic Bands, and the lack of instructions really is a problem. I ended up going to the cast member in the Euporium, and they even had to contact a manager since they had so many problems. So if you do have a problem, talk to the cast members and they will always be happy to help. Hey everybody, normally I don't do this, but I am editing right now and I found some of the tips and tricks from the cast members and the managers of what to do. So I want to include those and I want you to hear it from them of as you're setting it up, some of the tips that you want to set it up and make your experience a lot better. So here they are. Red's a good one and then a setting that I would recommend um, would be the singer when it loads. Um, I recommend making sure that reduced brightness is off so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, I also like increased motion recognition, turning that on. It helps when you're waving at the statues. Okay. And vibrations on as well. So yeah, you guys are all fine. Right. Now, so we got to talk to Sam knows. and Abram uh, in the Euporium and they've done a great job helping us out. So, uh, and they have said if you guys need help, let them know because I'm a tech guy and this has still tripped me up. So we're going to uh, go back to the, the information here. As I said before, if you need anything, just let us know what I will be. Now you're all set. Awesome. All right. Thank you. These guys have been fantastic. Now it's my turn. How long does the Magic Band Plus battery last? Well, it's going to be highly variable depending on the individual use of the band. In theory, Disney says that the battery can last from one to three days. In practice, well, playing but two bounty hunters is going to be one of the biggest drains on the device. Doing that minigame for a couple hours alone can deplete an entire Magic Band Plus battery. Most people won't be doing that from start to finish for hours on end, so the above range should be mostly accurate. With that being said, Walt Disney World does recommend charging the Magic Band Plus each night before use. Also, when you purchase or get the Magic Band Plus in the mail, it is recommended to charge it to its high battery levels, the green animation, for most optimal use. In our usage, we didn't really have that great a battery life, and we weren't playing the Batu Bounty Hunters. We would walk around and just wave at statues, also the fireworks, and we were actually charging it every afternoon while we put our little man down just to make sure that we would have charge late into the evening. So can the Magic Band Plus interactive features be turned on and off to conserve battery life? Well, yes, they can. 
You can power on your magic band by pressing the button on the back once. You can turn off the band by holding that same button for a few seconds. Or you can actually go into the My Disney Experience app and turn off the functions in the app. How do I charge the Magic Band Plus? Well, there is a six inch USB charging cable that is included with the purchase of a Magic Band Plus. A charging cable can also be purchased separately online or at Walt Disney World retail locations. The device can be charged via standard USB charging, which of course includes those portable phone chargers that everybody needs at Walt Disney World now because, well, everything drains, drains your phone battery and of course you need power for everything else. So my biggest complaint about this charger is it is a proprietary charger. So that means I have to have one more cable in my arsenal of cables and one more cable to forget and have to then buy one while I'm at Walt Disney World. So not a huge fan of that. Uh, the cables are really, really short. It's As I said, it's a six inch cable. So honestly, it's really difficult in a hotel room to actually find a spot to be able to charge it easily as well. So do the base features continue to work even after the battery dies? Well, yes, we already answered this one. Every single one of the base features will still work when the battery is dead. So don't worry, you'll still be able to go into your hotel room, you'll still be able to get into lightning lanes and all of that type of thing. Can the battery level of Magic Band Plus be checked? The battery status can be checked via the My Disney Experience mobile app if you have paired the Magic Band Plus to your device. In addition, pressing the button on the back of the band will result in the band lighting up a color to report the current battery status. If it is flashing red, there's no battery. You need to charge the band as soon as possible. A flashing yellow, it's low battery. Continue charging your band until green for the most optimal usage throughout your day. Flashing green, high battery, you're good to go. Now, when I was charging mine, it would actually only halfway go green. So I never saw the flashing yellow. So half of the band would flash green. And then when it was full, it would fully turn green. So I'm not sure that all Magic Band Plus are actually saying the same things. Now, this was after the update. So maybe things have been a little bit different because of that update. Is it necessary to link Magic Band Plus to my Disney Experience smartphone app for it to work? Well, yes and no. For normal base operations, you will need to link just as you would link a normal Magic Band. For the Magic Band Plus exclusive interactivity, you don't actually need to link it to a Disney account through the My Disney Experience mobile app. I know, kind of confusing. Can one My Disney Experience app manage multiple Magic Band Plus accounts? Well, yes. Just as one My Disney Experience account can man manage multiple users or Magic Band currently, so too can the My Disney Experience account manage multiple Magic Band Plus devices. And to be honest, that's how we do it in our family. Is the Magic Band Plus waterproof? Well, yes. According to Walt Disney World, the Magic Band Plus is waterproof for pools and water rides. I wouldn't suggest going deep sea diving with it, but it at least is, we'll call it at least splash proof. Can off-site guests use Magic Band Plus? Well, yes, of course they can. The device features mostly work the same except anything hotel related. In other words, I can't go to the Hilton and then open up my hotel room with my Magic Band Plus. So how does the size of the Magic Band Plus compare to the current generation of Magic Bands? Well, it is a little bit bigger. It's actually about 9.4% larger, and it does weigh just a little bit more, 11.7%. But to be honest, I couldn't tell a difference uh, with it on my wrist. Is there a pre-arrival purchase option for on-site resort guests? Well, of course there is. The pre-arrival selection seems to be almost better than the choices at Walt Disney World. We did have to visit a few of the stores to actually find the bands that we really wanted. There are a total of 48 styles currently, 33 Magic Band Plus options, and 15 Magic Bands. Even after the initial surge of morning purchases had worn down, all 33 Magic Band Pluses remained available as of the recording of this video online. What is the resort guest discount for pre-arrival Magic Band Plus purchases? 
Currently, there are only two price points for the Magic Band Plus, $25 for the solid colors and $35 for premium design, both of which offer a savings of $10 off for what you would pay in the store or shop Disney. Is there a discount for annual pass holders? Yes, of course there is. It's the same deal as the merchandise standard discount. What about exclusive designs for APs? Well, of course they'll be, but they have not been released yet. When will Magic Band Plus launch at Disneyland? Yeah, that's right. They're actually planning on launching this at Disneyland. Officially, the Magic Band Plus will launch at Disneyland, quote, sometime later this year, end quote. Unofficially, Magic Band Plus is already on hand at Disneyland, but it's our understanding that there are a lot of infrastructure work that remains to be done. It's possible Magic Band Plus will launch at Disneyland without full functionality, but we'd expect Star Wars but two Bounty Hunters to be the first that's finished. That seems to be the flagship in interactive experience, and it seems unlikely that Magic Band Plus would launch without it. If forced to guess, our prediction would be that Magic Band Plus launches between Thanksgiving and Christmas at Disneyland. Will the same Magic Band Plus work at both Walt Disney World and Walt Disneyland? For at least the interactive elements? Yes. So what was my overall feeling of the Magic Band Plus? Well, to be honest, if you are looking to replace a Magic Band or you need a Magic Band, well, if you need one, go ahead and get one if you have the extra couple bucks to spend. I found it to be a lot of fun. My little guy really loved being able to tap it and have it light up. We would have Mickey's face light up and he really loved those things. He absolutely loved watching it during the fireworks. And really, it was a fun experience for those things. Of course, he loved watching, walking up to the Fab 50 statues and waving at all of those. He would force us to go and walk up to them and wave at them and really you kind of feel silly waving at a statue but of course for little man i'll look silly overall though with the problems with pairing it with the problems of having to charge it uh the different just all of a sudden you'd get a buzz on your arm was it worth it i don't know the fact that i already had a functioning magic band that did most of this well i probably wouldn't spend the money again as I said, though, if I was going to look to get a new one and I was either didn't have one or you needed a new one for a little guy, yeah, absolutely. For the little ones, sure, get the interactive one. It's a lot of fun. But overall, was the extra money worth it to me? I just don't know. It's fun to have, but really when you're getting strange buzzes, you're worried about it connecting, you're just kind of, I don't know. I, I wish it would have been planned out better, and I really wish there would have been more to do than just wave at statues or play in Batu. They actually had a, I would say, 20 people line to play the Batu one, so I just don't know if it really is worth it. I hope in the future that we'll be bringing out additional things for them to do. The fireworks, for instance, at Magic Kingdom, it barely went off. At Epcot, it was going off almost the whole time. So it really depends on how much more they implement with these, if it's really gonna be worth it or not. So I hope that helps. If you liked this video or if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help let YouTube know that it's a helpful video and it helps to spread out my video. And of course, leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts of the Magic Band Plus, or if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Of course, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when I release new content so you never miss one of my Hudat Travel videos. And with that finally being said, I hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye, everybody.